All right, well, here in the Ultimate Robot Lab, that was a pretty quick one. I pretty much searched over here first, and booyah, booyah, our first Monokuma. Sweet. All right, see y'all at the next one, wherever it may be. Ah, here's one. I found one. It's in here in the hallway. It's on top of the head of one of these statues. These things are being pretty well hidden, because I have been looking around in almost every room now, and I have only found that's the second one I found. Anyway, we got one more floor to check out. I'll be right back if I find another one. Otherwise, I'll meet you to whoever I'm hanging out with. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, we're in the freaking cosplayer studio, and there's a Monokuma right there. I see your sneaky ass. No, 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 no. You right there. You right there. You can't hide from me, little bastard. All right, cool. That's three. That's good. Oh, wow, and the other one's right here. Well, well, well. I didn't probably didn't even need to cut it. Wow. Well, guys, I found all four hidden, on, hidden Monokumas in this chapter that I'm expecting to find anyways. So I guess that means we're done here. Looking for Monokumas. All right. Well, I searched all over the damn school. I should have... You know what? I should have start backwards. Like, start at the top and work my way backwards. Like, start with the new shit, then go backwards to the old shit. Because I only found one... It was all in new areas. The lab... The cosplayer room right next to the Shuichi's lab and then on the fourth floor. I should have just started at the top and I would have found all of them way faster. Well, anyway, uh, now the real question is who am I hanging out with? I need to make a choice. Also, I don't have my guide open anymore for what gifts to give. I need to open that back up, dog. I need to open that back up, dog. Rom bum 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 v3 gift guide. For the free, baby. Do, 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 do. Is this the right one? This is the right one. This is the right one. Yeah, 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 yeah. This to be the right one, yeah. Alright, so. What are we doing? Who are we hanging out with? Gotta make a choice. My choices are getting limited. I've had a request to hang out with Kaito. I've already finished Kokichi. Kibo has always kind of been on my list because I wanted to know if he's not actually a robot. But a lot of his functions seem to be robot-like, and he's also considered a robot, not a human, you know, from that hydra hydraulic press thing. Himiko has never really been that interesting of a person to me. Um, she's kind of funny, but her background does not interest me. Maki we already did. And Sumugi, I guess, the fact that she lasts as long is kind of interesting, but her personality is not. So I think Kaito might be what I'm going to do. Yeah, I might as well. Maybe we'll get some interesting tidbits out of Kaito if we hang out with him. All right, where's he at? Where are he hanging at? Is he in his lab? He's not even in his lab. Where he at then? His room? He might be in his damn room sleeping. I mean, he is hurting. Wouldn't be a big surprise if he was in his room. Wow, he totally is. Wait, no. Cyber Courtyard? Oh, he's over there? Okay. He's in the Zizzle room with Maki. Okay. Or at least he's over here in this area. Okay, well, let's hang out with Kaito, I guess. Let me uh, get, the, get him on my list here. Where's he at? Kaito, 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 Kaito. There he is. All right. Well, Kaito... You're the next contestant on Hanging Out with the Funk. Actually, let me just scroll down here like this. I should be able to still be able to see my window. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, Kaito. You're the next contestant on Hanging Out with your boy, Shuich. How does it feel? Who's the sidekick now, bitch? <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to save it real quick, as I usually do before I hang out with somebody. And let's do it. All right. Oops, that's me talking to the wall. It's no use. I wouldn't even know what to say to him. Oh, it won't let me hang out with Kaito? Duh! I guess I missed my chance, man. Well, shit. Does that mean I'm hanging out with Kibo then? I guess that means I'm hanging out with Kibo then, guys. 
Dang. Because Samugi and Himiko are not interesting to me. Kibo it is then. He's here too. Where's he at? He in this area as well. Let's go find him. Kibo, I'm hanging out with you instead. I decided it. I mean, I chose you the whole time. He's probably inside of here then. Here, let me go back to my list and scroll down to him. Or scroll up to him. I oh, know, here he is. The ultimate Mega Man. I mean, robot. There he is. Okay. All right, Kibo. I lied. You're the next contestant on hanging out with Shuichi Chan. There was no flashback light unless we missed it somehow. Guess we're hanging out with Kibo for a while. Whatever. Then please help me look for the flashback light. The thing, way things are now, this situation will never change. You right. You right. I spent some time looking for flashback lights with Kibo, but we failed because we suck. We grew a little closer, and I gave him a present. Also, what does a robot's underwear look like? That's what I want to know. All right. Well, anyway, the first object on the list that he likes is number 24, which we don't have. 25! We have four of these. He likes the autumn-colored scarf. That's funny. He also likes number 37, which is another one we don't have. Well, a lot of things we don't have. 45. Don't have that. 56. Ain't got that. Man, all these objects you get from the freaking casino? Because, man, I don't have any of them. 69, of course. <laughs> 69. We ain't got that one either. 77? Nope. Wow, they're all objects. Okay, here we go. He likes jelly balls for some reason. But, all right, 85. That's 81, I mean. 85. He likes the weathercock of Barcelos. Okay, we got plenty of items to give him then, because we got four of them scarves, we got three of them jelly balls, we got two of these cocks. Let's go through all the items though. 85, 91. We don't have 91. 95 we have, which is the home planet. Okay. 103 is the laser gun. No surprise there. 106 is not have. And 113 is the dark belt. Well, alrighty then. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just give him this damn autumn-colored scarf, because apparently he likes it. Who knew a robot would care to do that much about fashion? Not me. Thank you very much. This is nice. It aligns with my preferences. You understand me. I feel happy. Since you have come to speak to me, I can only assume that you've taken some sort of interest in me. Well. Uh, well, you are a robot, after all. I understand. Indeed, curiosity is a very useful human quality. Very well, I shall humor you. Hmm, I feel as though he's talking down to me a little. Well, then. So first, I will explain my functions. As a robot, I'm somewhat extraordinary compared to you. But... But I remember you saying something about having the strength of an old person. <laughs> uh, tr true, but... Considering the tragedy that occurred during tile production, it was a logical design choice. Well, then. Now, first is my visual acuity. I have 20-13 vision. Impress- <clears throat> No. Really? You think so? I believe that's pretty normal. Why? What are you talking about? Over 50% of high school students have less than 20-20. But no matter what, my visual acuity will always be 20-13. If it got any worse, I suppose that would count as a malfunction. Listen closely. My next function will so definitely surprise you. Shuichi, please raise your hand. Huh? Huh? My what? Please. I want you to put your hand in front of my mouth. Uh, um, like this? Uh, what? The hell is this? Uh, <laughs> that sound effect, though. Lukewarm breath grazed across my hand. Well, Kibos is a robot, so maybe not breath? How about this? <laughs> in addition, my warm breath also functions as a dryer. <laughs> I see. Please wait. Now, now, you can't be surprised just yet, okay? Case in point, my hand can turn into a multi-tool. With both hands, I have 20 tools at my disposal. My finger can detect wafting aromas and even distinguish between different scents. I also have a music player for when I'm not bored. Or when I am bored. I can even play tapes and records. Neat, huh? I'm still thinking about how weird your breath felt. I don't know about your other functions. <laughs> Don't be too surprised. After all, I am the ultimate robot. 
Um, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Right, I am Professor Idabashi's masterpiece after all. The professor's technology has given me the functions to support a life of comfort. A life of comfort, I see. That makes sense. However, my greatest attribute is actually not a function at all. It isn't? You can't tell what it is. It's my compact, lightweight design that makes my various functions possible. This is what truly drives Professor Itabashi's technological revolution. Well, now do you understand just how amazing I am? I don't know how to respond to his boasting. Maybe someone like me would really appreciate his mechanics. Not me, bro. Not me. Yeah, so far his functions seem pretty much human-esque. Although, he said his hands have different tools. That could be interesting. Spectre gadget style. Anyway, I parted ways to return to my room. Is it nighttime yet, or are we getting one more hangout today? Looks like we might get another hangout. All right. There's still some time. What should I do? I'm going to go find me another Kibo hangout, baby. Let's go, do. Let's go, do. Where's my robot fool? Oh, seriously, where he at? Kibo is still in the same place. All right. Well, in that case... We're off to hang with the Keebmeister one more time. Hey, yo, Keebmeister, where you at? Where you at? About to hang out till you get real fat. Oh, wait, robots, they don't eat anything, so they ain't gonna get fat or anything. And rhyming anything with anything is better than Bon Jovi with Back to Back. I ain't a songwriter, I'm a flow. So let's go. Talk to my boy, Keebo. Hey. You know, Monokuma hasn't presented us with a motive yet. What is he plotting? Should I hang out with Kibo for a while? Yes. Perhaps he's expecting Kokichi to act on his own without even needing a motive. Maybe we should look for Kokichi. I'm sure Kokichi will present himself when the time is right. Anyway, we spent some time looking for Kokichi, did we? We closer. We definitely giving him a present. I'm gonna give him one of these scarfs, because I don't give a shit. I don't give a damn. I don't give a fuck. Have a scarf. Thank you very much. Aligns with my preferences. You understand me. I feel mm, happy. Shuichi. So you've come to talk to me again. You must be very fascinated by me, Shuichi. That is understandable. In all the world, there is no robot as impressive. No other robot as impressive as I am. Why does he talk to me like that? Although I suppose it is very. It is true that his technology is pretty amazing. Very human-like. Almost like he isn't. Um. Hey, Kibo, you said your father is Professor Itabashi, right? Do you know what he, why he made you? That's... The professor told me that I am the sum total of his research, the entirety of his knowledge, technology, and expertise in the field of robotic engineering. Listen closely. All applied to create a robot more human than any that has come before. That is what I am. He said I am the culmination of his life's work. But I was not truly born until an instant occurred. As the professor did not predict. <laughs> Sorry. Huh? An incident. I... My strong AI was programmed such that my mental age would reflect my appearance. But unlike now, my AI was only capable of displaying a very narrow spectrum of human emotion. In response, the professor treated me to the way a father would treat his son. But things did not improve. Well... One day, a few years later, an accident occurred during a routine experiment. My programming went rogue, and I ended up seriously injuring the professor. Huh? What? But... Fortunately, the professor survived his injury, but I died that day. Huh? Died? I... When I hurt the professor, I overcome. I was overcome by the emotional response known as a sadness. The first law of robotic states, a robot must not harm a human thing. Though I wasn't punished for violating that rule, I nevertheless felt sadness. I blame myself for hurting my father. In doing so, I was overcome with guilt. Okay. This is... This is what it like to feels like to have human emotions. I... At that moment, my AI suddenly reset and I became not unlike a newborn infant. I see. So that's what he means by die. That's... Interesting. Perhaps I simply wanted to be reborn as the professor's son again. That's what the professor concluded, and he raised me as his own child. 
By the way. To tell you the truth, my memories were deleted when my AI reset. So I learned all this secondhand from the professor himself. No idea he'd experienced something so incredible. What's the matter? Shuichi, is something wrong? No. Uh, well, how do I put this? I was just thinking, you really are the ultimate robot. To professor Itabashi, Kibo is more than just a robot. And I'm sure that for Kibo, the professor is... Hey! What does that mean? Do you hold me in contempt now because I am a robot? How rude. Please reconsider your attitude toward me in the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got it, Kibo. <laughs> Alright, well. Don't know how real his robot ass is yet, but we gonna get there. I listened to Kibo's stories about the professor and returned to my room because his shit was boring. Maybe I should have gone with one of the girls. Whatever. We're gonna hang out with everybody eventually. It's just gonna happen after we beat the game, probably. Just like with the last two Dying Rumpas. Anyway, ding dong, bing bong, it's night time! <laughs> this is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy! The time is now 10 p.m. Night time has officially begun. Killers, this is your chance to strike. Victims, you have my condolences. Will you sleep like a baby tonight? Or sleep with the fishers? Either way, yeah, I didn't have to read it. Awesome. It's nighttime. I would have been training. But, ding dong? What? Huh? Okay. Maybe we are gonna go train. Hello. You got a minute? Do you have a minute? Hmm. Ma Maki, what's wrong? Well. Kaito asked me earlier to show him my research lab. Huh? Huh? Your lab? <sighs> I might as well show him, since I know he won't take no for an answer. So you have to come too. Bitch, I seen your lab though. Okay. She wants me to go? Maki invited me, so I should go. Okay. Odd. But okay. Uh. I guess we're just heading over there. I'm assuming they're already gonna go there on their own. I don't know if it matters if I run there. Probably can't teleport. Usually I can't during these, like, story segments. Kind of curious to see if there's anybody else around. Oh, Samugi and Kibo are out here, huh? Well, where are they at? I'll say hi. Where are you guys at? Okay, well, there's Kibo. What's up, Kibo? Shuichi. It's already nighttime, Shuichi. What are you doing out and about at this hour? Okay. I promised to meet up with Maki. See. I see. Well. well, I have no intention of strictly upholding a curfew. Perhaps it's an old habit from time, from my time on the student council, but I felt like I had to ask. That was only a few days ago. It feels like we formed the student council with Angie ages ago. A lot of things have happened since then. We haven't had a moment to relax. Um. At any rate, please be careful. Being out during nighttime could result in another murder. Especially now, when we don't know Kokichi's whereabouts. You're right. You're right. I'll be careful. Alright, so that's ka -ta -ta -ta. Where is Samugi? She's not going to be, like, way out there, right? Maybe she's over here. There she is. Hello. Um. Samugi, uh, what are you looking for? Looking up at the sky for? Huh? Oh, Shuichi. I was just looking at the stars a little. I remembered something Gonta said before. What did Gonta say? Yeah. Remember after Kirumi's trial? Now that she mentions it. What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you staring at the sky? Past the time, the stars are always so pretty. But stars here are different, not the same ones Gonta used to. Ooh, are we on another planet? Hmm, I didn't really think about that, but that. Did I say that when we. Like earlier? I, th I feel like I did. Actually. Anyway. I was just thinking, the stars really are pretty. I can't tell the difference since I don't usually look at them, but they're pretty. That reminds me. I'd forgotten this feeling. With all the horrible things happening, I was always looking down. You're right. I need to thank Gonta. You're right. You're right. Hey. Hey, do you want to join me, Shuichi? Sorry. Sorry, there's something I need to take. I have to take care of. I see. I see. Well, I'm going to stay here a little while longer. All right, well, you thank him like he's Mufasa, all right? 
Ref like, so he could be like, Sumugi, remember who you are. Alright, uh, anybody else on my way over here? I mean, all that's left really is Himiko, because the other two are with me. So unless Himiko is in a room or on the way, I don't know who else there would be. Himiko! <laughs> anyway, we're almost there. Her lab be right here on the next float. Right, right, right here on the next float. I, I, right here on the next float. I, I, right here on that next float. I, 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 oh. Alright, are we here now? I think so. Here we go. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Hmm? Okay. Oh, so you came too. Uh, okay. Yeah. Silence. As if utterly bored by the painful silence, Maki started up a conversation. What are you trying to pull? Why did you ask to see my research lab so suddenly, Kaito? Ah. Well, I just wanted to see what kind of weapons were here. What? What? Why would you want to see my weapon? You know. But wow, there's a ton of stuff here. Can we? Can you use all these, Maki Roll? I see. Yes, more or less. So... But no swords or katanas, right? That's right. I don't use swords of any type. Not after I botched a mission with a katana. You actually remembered. Of course. Of course. Didn't I tell you that I, I take responsibility for my sidekick's failures? Either way, I don't feel like weapons really suit women. Hey. Care to explain why you wanted to see my weapons? Didn't I tell you this morning? I've got a plan figured out. Oh, what's in that black case over there? As if backing away from the conversation, Kaito headed to the far bookcase. So... What's in this? Some kind of weapon? Then... If you want to know, why don't you open it? Hmm, let's see. And then Kaito pulled something from the black case. What's this? It's a bunch of parts. Yeah, for a gun or a crossbow. Crossbow gun. Nice. I see. It's a disassembled crossbow. Mm. Hmm, so when you put them together, they become a crossbow. Looks interesting. Hey, Maki Bro, can you teach me how to put it together? Sure, whatever. Sure, I don't mind. It'll be like a boyfriend girlfriend type of project. <laughs> like this and this together. Uh huh. Um, like this? And then put that other part in the opposite way. <sighs> Wait, that's wrong. Oh, my bad. It goes this way. Mm-hmm. Then next, it's... While watching those two, the memory of a similar scene came to my mind. Oh shit, dude. Kaito struggling while Maki gave him instructions. Eventually, they succeeded in putting together the crossbow. Whoa! Since I built it, it became an extra cool crossbow. So what? It doesn't matter, matter who builds it, though. Right. It seems like it's a bit complicated, but I think I could do it by myself next time. Hey. Shuichi, do you want to learn too? No. Uh, no, that's alright. I sort of understand from watching anyway. Hmm. Then let's put it away. You can easily take it apart by reversing the steps. Are you serious? Wait, uh, do I have to do it? Right. Who else is going to do it? My bad. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I don't feel too good again. Uh, Huh? It seems like I'm not back at 100%. Uh, I'm going to go back first. Uh Hey, don't use your don't use your sickness as a way to get out of things, you dick. Anyway, ignoring Maki trying to stop him, Kaito fled the room. What a dick! Jeez. I knew he wasn't the type to clean up, but I never thought he'd run away with a crappy lie. How annoying! How frustrating! He's the worst. Well, ah, well, that's just Kaito. <sighs> You're the worst too. Huh? Huh? Well, I, I'm sure you know why I invited you, right? Okay. Yeah, I do. You were trying to get Kaito and I to make up. You don't know? It's not like he hates you or anything. He's just being stubborn. But... But I just don't know what to say to him. I had no choice. Going to... If I didn't do something, everyone would have died. I don't think it'd be right to apologize for that. Hey! I'm sorry, Maki. I just need more time. 
I didn't realize you two would require such high maintenance. What are you, a couple of girls? Sorry. <laughs> now that she mentions it, I didn't realize it either. I didn't realize Maki would be so concerned about us. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. It's like you're our best, best friend. In the end, I was the one who ended up disassembling the crossbow. After I finished, I went to return to my room. And the night time fell. Maybe. Just like always, we're surrounded by problems. This academy is full of mysteries, and I'm worried about Kokichi. And then there's the thing with me and Kaito. All right. I need to make it make up with him. For us, and for Maki. I fell asleep thinking about it. Oh? Oh? Damn it. Why? Why now? Why? Me? Damn it. I'm running out of time. I can't die like this. Like hell am I gonna die here? I, I still haven't gone to, to space. Thinking he's gonna die here, not gonna, not having gone to space. But anyway, recklessness is a beautiful thing, and this, my friends, is Rambo. Oh, by the way, the last one that I couldn't remember, the one that had to do with the red jacket and the dude with the thing in his hand, that was freaking Back to the Future with Marty and the Professor, Doc, whatever. Man, I feel dumb. That red fucking vest, man, it was so obvious that it was freaking Back to the Future. I just had so many horror movies and stuff in my mind that I'm like, what movie is this? Or like a, even like a horror parody movie I was trying to think of like, but no, it was just freaking Back to the Future. Anyway, this one's obviously Rambo, no problems there. Recklessness is a beautiful thing! It's so beautiful, I want to print the words Reckless Beauty on a t-shirt! Because recklessness is the stuff that dreams are made of! It's what makes you run at full speed, with no regard for your limitations! It's what makes you excited by anything! Some say it's foolish, but recklessness is what causes new events to unfold. So while you're still alive, live your life so recklessly that it makes you immortal. And if haters laugh at you, let them. They just don't appreciate reckless beauty like you do. That's actually kind of a, a, a good advice in a weird way. Like, put in weird words. But it's just telling you to live life. Be a little reckless and say fuck the haters. You know what I mean? from the Ultimate Academy! Oh yeah? Rise and shine, kiddos! It's another gorgeous day for a killing game! Yes it is! So get out there! Embrace your homicidal urges! And have a fabulous day! <laughs> I'll try! I'm sure everyone is gathered in the dining hall. I should go too. And then away we go. Let's see if anybody hanging out on the way, though. Maybe we can unlock something else. There ain't nothing here. So let's check out here. Hey, it's Himiko. How you doing, girl? How, how you doing, girl? How? Hey, Shuichi. Ah, Shuichi. Good morning. Uh, okay. Good morning. Still not used to Himiko being so energetic. Mm. It seems like everyone's gathered at the dining hall today, too. Since I've been here, I've been on a pretty regular schedule. You're right. Me too. I've even, I'm even eating breakfast every morning now. Mm. It'd probably be good if I kept, this, kept up this schedule after we get out of here. If I do that, it'll probably enrich my magical powers even further. Right. More importantly, it might be because of this schedule, but... I think they've grown a bit. I'll grow them bigger and bigger this way. Then no one will be able to call me Tetless. Well, I'm, uh, yeah. Huh? Himiko? Mm -hmm. Nothing. I I'll get going now. <laughs> Self-conscious about that titlessness, huh? Well then. <sighs> I took the Miyu insults a little too seriously, even though, you know, she is pretty, uh, Shall we say, flat chesticled? There's no denying your flat chestedness, my girl. Oh, yeah, we're going inside, because nobody else outside right now. 
Gotta see if anyone else on the way to the dining hall, right, Mia? Gotta see, gotta see. Check the fucking map real quick, BZ. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Don't look like anybody out here, yeah. So, let's go to the hall. See if one wants to brawl. Probably not, because we're all friends now. So little of us except for Kokichi. Fucking Kokichi. <sighs> Kokichi's not here. Well, if he was, it'd be complete chaos. What are you thinking of? Huh? huh? Well... You're worried about Kokichi, right? We're all worried, too. Yes. I searched for him. I searched everywhere for him, but I couldn't find him at all. Sure enough, he's the master of hide and seek. It can't be. He couldn't have escaped by himself, right? Well. No, as long as Monokuma is here, I do not think that is possible. Jeez. Like I said, just forget about him. Anyway. Listen up. Listen up, everyone. I gotta tell you guys something. Kaito has an idea? A little awkward with Kaito right now, but I should listen. Okay. <laughs> Tell us your idea, sir. Um, What's your idea, Kaito? So... Hmm? Oh, 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 yeah. Lacking subtlety, Kaito averted his eyes from me and looked around. You know... Looks like Monokuma isn't here. Well, I, could, I wouldn't care less even if he was. Kaito turned to us, his expression suddenly serious. Listen up. Didn't I tell you guys yesterday? I'm going to get you guys out of here. But to do that, I need you guys help. Please. So please, help me out here. Huh? What? I mean... In order to help you guys, I need you all to work with me. Wait. Hold on. What are you talking about? Um... Work with you? Oh, what do you mean? Got it. Fight Monokuma with me. Huh? Fight Monokuma? Listen up. Now's our best chance. Since the Monocups are gone, the Exizzles that are protecting him can't move. Let's do it. Now's our chance to get together and kick Monokuma's ass. Fight Monokuma? I see. That must be why Kaito was looking for weapons. But, but Monokuma's probably got more spares. Won't he be pointless no matter how many we beat? Then all we need to do is destroy them one by one till there aren't any left. But, but we don't know what Monokuma's got up his sleeve. Even without Exizzles, this academy is still under his control. Hey. Then you're fine with the way things are now? <clears throat> Did you guys really want to continue this killing game? Are you okay with that? Listen up. The only way to change things now is to fight. If you want to put an end to this killing game, then we gotta fight. If we don't stand up now, then when? But, but if we don't have anyone who can fight, like Gunta or Tenko... Then... then I'll just have to fight on their behalf. What? What? Well... I know an assassin wouldn't say, in this, wouldn't say this, but I'm sick of all this killing. Maki. Everyone! Let's do it! What? Huh, Kibo, you too? My inner voice that guides me when I feel lost spoke to me again. It said, now is the time to stand and fight. It may be dangerous course of action, but if it will prevent future victims, I... then I've decided that I will fight Monokuma. I've been waiting for those words. Very well. I'll lend you my power. What? Huh? Were you really waiting for that? I, I don't want to lose any more friends. It's even more painful than losing yourself. That's why I'll fight. I'm not afraid of Monokuma. Okay then, me too. We can't let the killing game go on like this. You're going to join us as well, right, Shuichi? Yeah, right. So we all agree that it's decided. Let's do it. We're going to beat Monokuma to a pulp. Yes, let's show him what we're made of. I won't even need to use my magic. No. no, I think that if you can use magic, now's the time for it. Well. And when did you guys want to start? I'm fine with starting right away. Oh shit, she ready. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't get ahead of yourself, because this will be the final battle. We should make sure we're prepared. What? Prepared for what? I mean... Prepared for battle, of course. Well, I'll take care of that for you guys. <laughs> so you can make preparations, but you can't clean up after, your clean up after yourself? Well, since I was the one who brought this up, I gotta get things prepared at least. So you guys just gotta prepare yourselves mentally. Right. The battle's gonna be tonight. Once it's nighttime, let's meet up at the gym. Alright. Are you ready to throw the fuck down? After that, we ate breakfast and prepared for our battle. We separated for now and returned to our rooms. 
Well, I guess if Kaito's going to be setting up for the battle, we have to hang out with somebody else. We'll hang out with Kibo again, I guess. Fight with Monokuma. It's true that this is our chance, but what is the sense of, what is this sense of unease? It's because Monokuma's probably two steps ahead of us. And Kokichi, too. I can't imagine he just ignore this. He must be planning something. We have to be cautious. Well, in the meantime, let's go hang out with the dumb, dumb robot, shall we? Where that dumb, dumb robot at, though? He's always in the freaking courtyard of cyberness now. He's too enamored by all the machines. Anyway, let's go hang out with my boy Kibo. Bee ba dee 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 Gonna save it real quick before we do that. Got plenty of time to hang out with his ass right now, right now, right now. Hanging out with Kibo like a dude now. Right, right, right now. Ayo, hey, Kibo, what you gotta do now? Hey, 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 let's hang out. Hey, hey, let's hang out. All right. Let's do it. Together, we're strong enough to defeat Monokuma. Should I hang out with Kibo? Hell yeah. yeah. Yes, let's raise our morale by spending time together. Let's do it. Man, I feel like very uncomfortable just sitting here right now. I'm getting kind of restless. Anyway, I spent time with Kibo. Spent some time with Kibo. We got close as fuck. About to pass out. About to give him another present right now. Probably just gonna keep giving me these scarves because I don't care. Have us another scarf, dude. Thank you very much. With your preferences. Shuichi. Shuichi, may I ask you for advice concerning a particular matter? Uh, um, advice? Are you sure you want to ask me? Yes. Yes, in fact, you are the only one I can talk about to this to about this matter. The only one? Um, this question has been on my mind for a while now. Do you think I am merely ordinary despite being the ultimate robot? Well. No, you don't need to answer. Compared to everyone else, I feel rather ordinary. Then why ask? I must. So I've been thinking that I need to address this somehow by taking action. Shuichi, I intend to launch a robot business. Wait, what? A robot business? Indeed. Yes, I'm going to launch a business that takes full advantage of my robot capabilities. I will do a photo booth. I will do... I will be a song booth so people can record their singles. I will also be the light when someone is scared at night. <laughs> That's why I'm going to work to become a pop star robot. Yes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, um, a pop star? <laughs> why that? Listen closely. I arrived at this decision after analyzing many options. The main reason is that robots have yet to advance in the pop music genre. It's not true. Have you seen Hatsune Miku? Wait. Ha What's her name? Ha Hatsune Miku Hatsune. Hatsune. Ooh, man. The blue haired... The blue-haired uh, hologram chick. Hatsu Miku... Ha oh, man. I can't even remember what their name is. It's something with the H and an M, but I'm... Hatsu Makune or Makune Hatsu... Hatsu Haku Hiku... Hiku Masun... I can't even remember her damn name. That bothers me, actually. Anyway. Yes, they have. I don't think they've advanced in any music genre. For now. On the subject, uh, subject of pop stars, singing is what they're mostly known for. Right. Uh, sure. That's true. Yes, it's the singing. I... As a robot, I should be able to sing once I upload the proper music and lyrics. In that regard, I believe I am well suited to the role of pop star. Hmm. I see. So you've put a lot of thought into this. Well, of course. Of course. Furthermore, pop stars fill the opposite sex with admiration, joy, and a reason to live. It's the perfect way for me to gain a deeper understanding of the emotion, happiness, and to fuck millions of bitches. Well then. I'm going to sing for you now. Please tell me what you think. Okay. All right, sure. I would soon regret those words. Uh... <laughs> Kibo's expression while singing was so peaceful, so joyous. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh... But my brain was being fried. I felt like my insides were scrambling. I can't block it out. I'm going to throw up. Wow. Really? <laughs> Several minutes later, I opened my eyes, still hunched over. Sang me to sickness. Good job, dude. How about this? What do you think, Shuichi? It was pretty good, huh? Sorry. I'm sorry, Kibo. I don't think I can. Follow your music career. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? No. Kibo, your singing was terrible. 
I couldn't take it. Really? What? Was it really that bad? Hmm. Yeah, I uh, don't think you should sing for people anymore. <laughs> oh no, does that mean I can't become a pop star? Uh, wait, Kibo, that's it. You can play music, right? Why don't you just do that? You, so if you just pretend to sing this and play the song through your mouth, you know, like a hologram. I can't. I can't do that. Uh, what? I'm disappointed in you. That is an unlogical compromise, Shuichi. Please understand, my AI is a reflection of the human desire for greater understanding. So I must experience the hardship of training. The easy path will only hinder my progress. Even if one possesses an ultimate level talent, that talent should not be a crutch, but a stepping stone to reach even greater heights. Well, that's a human mindset for a robot. Interesting. Kibo gave me a dressing down and I returned to my room. I never thought the day would come when a robot would preach to a human. Uh, come to think of it, we didn't come to a conclusion about his robot business. It's okay. As long as he doesn't sing anymore. Singing is the best. Uh, That's his singing. Anyway, there's still some time. Let's go hang out with Kiba one more time, baby. One more, 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 one more time. One more, one more time. Hang out with them one more time. Time, 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 time. Um, yeah, I want this one. I was like, what the hell is the one called? What's over here by the thingy where I want to go and shit? Alright, so Kibo's actually in his lab for once. In El, El Ultimo Rubato Labo. So, Mr. Kibo, how does it? Please wait. Monokuma is the obvious threat, but we need to be wary of Kokichi's next move. He is persistent about this game, and I will likely interfere with our and will likely interfere with our attempt to end it. Yeah, probably. All right. Then let's come up with a plan to defend against Kokichi's interference. Probably not a bad idea, actually. Spend some time with Kibo. We hanging out one more time. I'm gonna give you that last scarf now because what's better than that shit? Nothing. Not, 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 nothing. Thank you very much. This is nice. Shuichi. Have you given any more thought to our previous discussion? Our previous discussion? Uh, I remember when I suggested he faked the singing. Sorry. Yes, I have, Kibo. I apologize for saying what I did. Yeah. I accept your apology. After all, humans and robots alike seek greater understanding. Well then. As for my robot business, if I can't be a pop star, I'll have to think of something else. But I can't seem to think of anything. Do you have any ideas? Something else Kibo could get into. I really upset him last time. I should think hard about this. Um. Stunt work, high risk work, robo made. Let's go with stunt work. Then... What about stunt work? Like a stunt man. Hmm. Stunt work. Okay. Yeah, because you're a robot, you can stand in for a lot of things. But... That may be, but I'm not exactly the most physically sturdy robot, so... <laughs> nah, that's right. Hmm. Alright then, uh, something oh. else then. Perhaps a caregiver robot? With life expectancy rising, I'm sure that there's demand. Hmm, a caregiver robot? I hadn't considered that, so robot made is what I should have said. Well then. Alright, I will begin practicing at once. I'm counting on you to help me, Shuichi. No. Uh, how can I possibly help you, Kibo? Please. I would like you to roleplay as someone in my care. Okay. Uh, I see. All right. Sure. Well then. First, I will attempt to assist you in getting ready for bed. Uh, um... Ready for bed. All right. Uh, can you help me into my pajamas? Impossible. Ch -ch Changing clothes. I, I can't do that. It's too embarrassing. Bitch, you a robot. No. It's care work, Kibo. You don't have to be embarrassed. Don't. What's embarrassing is embarrassing, and that's that. No clothes changing. Hmm. All right. All right. Well then. I suppose I'll try picking you up and placing you on the bed. Okay. There's no bed here, so I suppose we'll just have to make do. I got into fetal position so that Kibo could carry me more easily. This is kind of embarrassing. This could easily lead to a misunderstanding. All right. Okay, here I go. Kibo announced with determination and then began to lift me up. What the? What? Huh? He's not picking me up. Hmm. Kibo? What's wrong? Did you crack your fucking back? Is that what just happened right now? Ouch. My back. My back. Huh? Your back? I thought you were a robot. How rude. You're too heavy. Really? I am not. I'm normal for my age. 
<laughs> Ouch, it hurts to move my back. Guess that makes caregiving out of the question. <laughs> That's the end of that. See, he's not a fucking robot, dude. He broke his back. The hell? Ironically, I ended up carrying Kibo on my back and taking him to his room. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, well, I guess it's nighttime. Let's see what the fight's gonna ensue. I'm ready for this fight, dude. I'm ready. Ding dong, bing bong, baby. Let's fight it out. You know I'm ready. Oh shit. Oh shit. Monokuma's like, oh, you ready to fight? Bring it. Aw, oh, yeah. Monokuma isn't here? What was that? No. Is the plan compromised? I should get to the gym. I'm sure everyone's already gathered there. You late. You late. You late as fuck. Shuichi, bitch. You late as fuck. You late as fuck. Yo, yo, you late as fuck. Everybody already ready to fight. You, 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 you late as fuck. Yep, you late as fuck. If you're gonna be late like this, then everybody's gonna fight without your ass. You, you late as fuck. No, you late as fuck. Smoogie, what are you doing in here? Out here. Shuichi. Oh, Shuichi, are you headed to the gym? Okay. Yes, I am. Hey. I remember hearing Miyu getting all worked up about it, but in Kibo's research lab, there are a lot of parts to upgrade him, right? If he'd used those, we wouldn't have to depend so much on Maki in fights. Well. That's true, but Kibo said that he doesn't want anything to too sci-fi, so... But in this situation, maybe he should just get over that already. Well, we shouldn't force him to do anything. One man's moe is another man's trash. Hmm. Wait, is that how it goes? Well, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to go on ahead. All right, thanks, Samugi. Uh, I guess I'll keep going. I don't know if we're gonna come across anybody else along the way, but here we, here we go. I'm ready to throw down, bro. Here we, here we go. I'm ready to throw down, bro. Throw it, throw it down. Throw it, throw it, throw it down. You don't want none of my shit right now, baby. I'm ready to fuck this robot up. Come on, Robo Bear, baby. He don't want none of my bitch ass. He don't want none. Baby. I'm just wondering if this whole fight's gonna end up being futile as fuck. It probably will be. But we'll see. Here we go. What the? Oh, it's a pile of weapons. We did it. Alright. Alright, everyone's here. I hope you're all ready. Oh. Are those weapons? Oh, yeah. So you went to my lab yesterday to find weapons to use against Monokuma. Got it. Yep, that's right. Hey guys. Anyway, let's get started. You guys better be ready. Uh, you don't mean ready to die, right? Idiot. What? No, I obviously I mean ready to fight and win, obviously. Ready to fight and win? Yeah. Yeah, we challenged him a bunch of times, but it never worked out, right? That's because we gave up. Listen up. But this time we can't give up, because this is our final chance. We're gonna beat up Monokuma and end this ridiculous killing game. <laughs> oh boy. Guess who? What a kawinky dink! I was planning on ending this killing game too! Upon hearing that voice, we all spun on a dime and saw him standing before us. Kokichi! You know, I was also thinking about how to end this killing game as soon as possible. You little. What are you? I wouldn't move if I were you. At least, if you don't want to become this little guy's prey. The threat? Is that a bomb? A bomb? <laughs> yep, it's exactly that. Which means, if you don't want to be blown to pieces, then you need to listen to what I'm about to tell you. Okay. So? Wait, what was I going to tell you? <laughs> You're the one who said it. You little... What are you going to do with that bomb? Oh, yeah. I was going to tell you guys my purpose. Wait, what? You know, how it says in the rules that the killing game will continue until there are only two left? But it never mentioned anything about how many you can kill, right? What? So here's a question for everyone. Who wants to survive with me? Just the two of us. It can't be. It can't be you. What did you say? Are you planning to kill us all with that bomb? Are you serious? Then the way you were gonna end the killing game is kill everyone. I thought maybe I should kill everyone. Except for me and my one other person. Kill everyone? 
If I did that, I'd be able to end the killing game and still abide by school rules, right? Well then, who wants to live? It's first come, first serve. On the count of three, <laughs> first one to raise their hand wins. Don't screw around. Quit screwing around. Who would ever agree to a plan like that? I... Even if you threaten to destroy me, I have no intention of being manipulated by you. I'm scared of dying, but nothing good will come from surviving with you. What was that? I also don't want to survive with someone who'd do such a thing to go to. You bastard. I'd rather kill you. Is that all right? Kokichi, you just don't get it. We're not going to do what you want. Oh. Wow, what a surprise. I didn't think this would go exactly as I predicted. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> I lied about killing everyone. I just wanted to test your determination. Huh? Determination? Yeah. I wanted to see if you guys were determined enough to end this killing game. So let's work together. We can use the ultimate anti-monokuma weapons. Ultimate anti-monokuma weapons? I guess the ones that he just brought. These ones? Hammer on the dolly? Could it be... The ultimate anti-monokuma weapons. Are you talking about the hammers? Cut it, out. Cut it out. There's no reason to listen to them, guys. Come on, at least hear me out. This is also Miu's memento. Miu's memento? Yeah. Yeah, they're called electro hammers, and they're something I asked Miu to invent. How exciting! They're a pretty incredible invention that disables any electronic machine on contact. Huh? Disables electronic machines. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that includes Kibo too. They should be helpful against Monokuma, right? What? Huh? Helpful against Monokuma? Hold up. Hey, how did you know we were gonna fight Mono? Ah, well, I just happened to be hiding in the dining hall when I heard you discussing it. The fact that you were hiding there means it wasn't a coincidence. But, but I was just so elated when I heard you guys wanted to fight Monokuma. Because that was my plan all along. That's how I want to end this killing game. And that's why I asked Miu to make this. To defeat Monokuma and the Monokubs. Don't lie. You've been fixated on this killing game the whole time. Is that really something Miu made? Are you lying about that, too? Huh? You're gonna doubt that, too? Of course. Have you forgotten everything you've done, uh, done to us up till now? Yeah. Yep, I forgot. Yeah. yeah. How do you expect us to believe that? Because... This doesn't make sense. If Miu made that weapon, why didn't she... Why didn't she use that instead of murdering someone? Mm. Yeah. If there are weapons to fight against Monokuma, we should have all fought together. Yes. This is all your fault. Huh? Our fault? Oh, yeah. I told Miu too, you know, around the time I asked her to invent this. I told her that we should fight against Monokuma, but she... What a pain in my ass. Why do I gotta make this again? Quit complaining. This is all an unfuckable ugly bitch like he was good for anyway. Jesus, Kokichi. Way to persuade her. What? Huh? Oh, okay. But... but this is so exciting. When this is done, we can probably defeat Monokuma, right? Especially when we all join forces. Yes. Don't be stupid. If you're going to do it, do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Huh? Um... It doesn't matter if we promise to work together. Someone will still betray us. Betray us and kill one of us. Besides, this weapon won't make a difference. We'll all be killed by an Exizzle before we can use it. I just invented it because I was asked to. I have no intention of defying Monokuma. There's no way we could beat him, and I can't afford to die here anyway. Listen up. Not when I need still need to invent something that's going to change the world. So if you want to defy Monokuma, do it yourself. Come with me. But if it does work out, come help me, okay? I'll do anything, anything to thank you. <laughs> Someone will still betray us. That's what she said. Well, the Exizzles were still moving at the time, so I don't blame her, but she was afraid to trust you guys. The fear of betrayal overcame her. That's why she bloodied her hands in this killing game. Damn. That idiot. But you guys are different. You guys won't lose to the fear of your friends betraying you, right? You guys, you showed your determination to fight together, and you ignored my advice from earlier. No. And you would lie about killing all of us just to test that theory? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I want you guys to do your best. Don't screw around. Quit screwing around. What are you saying? You probably just lied about talking to Miu. Ah. Oh, by the way, the Electro Hammers weren't the only thing Miu made. 
She made this thing, too. What? That bomb, too? <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb, though, even if it is called an electro bomb. It jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with the electromagnetic waves. For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities, too, since it doesn't leave any debris, be debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. Please wait. Settle. Settle. You, we have no intention of using such suspicious looking hammers. But... Are you sure? You can use these electro hammers not only against Monokuma, but also to get through that underground tunnel. Huh? The underground tunnel? See? You can use the electro hammers to destroy the electronic traps in that place. <laughs> Is that true? Mm -hmm. Oh, are you finally starting to believe me? But be careful! Electro hammers run out. Of, electro hammers run out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against an Exizzle, it'll run out of juice with just one shot. Got it? Once the battery depletes, it takes 24 hours to fully charge. So watch out for that. Anyway, I'm done explaining, so I'll hand the electro hammers over. I'll let you guys talk it over. I won't interfere anymore either. Won't interfere. I'll be looking from a distance or something like that. You don't want me around anyway. No. Wait, before you run off again, there's something I need to ask you. What was that writing in the courtyard? If I remember correctly. That message that Gonta found. The world is mine, I believe it said. Did you write that? And if you did, why? Mm -hmm. Huh? What's that? I have no idea. Don't, lie. Don't play dumb. Your name is on it. You've got to be the one who did it. But I wouldn't gain anything from writing a message like that, would I? That would just make you guys suspect me. Suspect, suspect that I'm the mastermind. Huh? The mastermind? Because... Yeah, the, this world is mine, Kokichi Oma? Would make me seem like the mastermind. Uh... Oh, I know. This is all Monokuma's doing. He's trying to get us to suspect each other. But don't worry. I truly want to end this killing game. Suddenly a dark shadow slid between us, quick as a flash. Guess who? Tell us the truth. What are you scheming? That's what I'm saying. Like I said, I just want to end this killing game. That's all. If you don't tell us the truth, then I'll break you. I must break you. Maki roll, cut it out. You'll get killed if you don't. I told you we can't play this killing game. That's just what Monokuma wants. Maki let go and Kokichi's body fell in a heap on the floor. Jeez, you're such a big meanie! How could you do something like this to a friend? Friend? As if. You guys may not think that way, but I see all of you as my friends. That's why I'll be back. I won't interfere anymore, so please, continue to walk the path you believe in. Huh. Kokichi picked himself up and staggered to the exit. He left behind the electro hammers. Hmm. What should we do? No. You mean about the hammers? They've got to be booby trapped somehow. Hmm. But looking at it, it definitely seems like something Miu made. Hey. Either way, I refuse to believe anything he says. But you know, if it's not a lie, then isn't this our one chance to escape? Huh? What? Listen up. If we use these electro hammers, maybe we can get through the underground passage. So why don't we try it? What is it? You mean, actually do what Kokichi is suggesting? What? No matter what we do, it'll be dangerous. But are you really going to believe Kokichi? But you know. Our goal is to escape with everyone, right? If there's a chance we could do it, then we should take it. We don't have enough time. Huh? Time? Okay. Yeah, with Monokuma. Like, he's going to get in our way soon. Hmm. True. This is our best chance now that he's not making any obvious movements. Hey. So let's try the underground passage with these hammers. We'll get to the outside world. You're right. You're right. If we can escape, we'll find out the secret of the outside world for ourselves. See. We do not know if that's a lie or the truth, though. The secret of the outside world. The despair Gonta mentioned. Was that a lie? Or is it the truth? We have to get out. You're right. You're right. We have to try. Right. Yeah, that's all we got. Well, the secret of the outside world might just be a lie anyway. Must do it. Either way, we should at least try, so we won't have any regrets. What should we do? What, should, what do you want to do, Maki? That if that hammer is a trap, then I'll really kill that ass. Come on, man. 
You can't kill him. Just punch him. Okay, okay. I know. I'm just going to beat him to a bloody pulp. I see. I see. If everyone else is going to do it, I understand. Yeah. Then I'll prepare myself for the underground passage again. Got it. Yeah, right on. However, I'm still concerned that Monokuma has been so quiet. He hasn't shown himself at all since the morning announcement. Where is he? I suppose there's no point worrying about that. Not if I want to focus on moving forward. It's the only thing I can do is keep moving forward. Alright, let's get going. We're going to escape from that underground passage for sure this time. Kaito gave a triumphant shout and we all grabbed our electro hammers. Yes, yes let's go. Mm. I'll be cheering for you. Himiko, you need to come too. We left the gym in high spirits. All right. I need to go too. I should head to the underground passage. I took the final electro hammer and left the gym. Indeed. Well, guys, I'm going to leave you hanging right here because this is a perfect time for me to stop. I am actually out of time for recording today, unfortunately. What's going to happen with our escape attempt here in the underground passage with these hammers? I have no fucking clue. This is weird as shit. Kokichi's trying to help us out. Fucking yeah, right. Never believe a word he says ever again. Ever, ever, ever. But I'm excited to see where this goes because I, I want to know. And also, what, they're right. Where the fuck has Monokuma been, man? What's he been up to? What's he doing? Why is he hiding? Bring a face out, bitch. I'm going to fuck your shit up, bear. Anyway, I am curious to see how this platforming situation with hammers goes. Very Donkey Kong, you know, Mario with a hammer-esque. But anyways, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Hope you're excited about what's coming next time, because I know I am. See you guys then. Peace.